Hey there, guys. This is hey, Bobby. guys. Steffi, Steph. Bobby, we Steffi, are Steph. day. Uh, hey, why don't you hold it? Thank there. you. There we go. She <laughs> likes to hold it. I do. Uh, uh, so we mommy. are Inca Trail day two. We are. Um, I, we're not even midway, probably a third no, of the we're way. We're about to have like part this. of the toughest part of the trail is going to be going straight Steep up. climb up. It's about a thousand meters in total. Uh, right now, we've all been going at the pace of a we thousand one, meters elevation gain. One group, um, so everyone kind of stays together. Once we hit this next part of the trail, my understanding is that everyone's going to kind of go at their own pace, and so it gets a little bit more. Uh, I don't know how you say, just uh, it gets a little bit more difficult, and so. It'll be interesting. We see the clouds rolling in. It's going to get foggy, perhaps some rain. Uh, Let's turn and normal. spin a little bit just so people yeah. can see the background. And see all that up there. What have you learned about yourself this morning? Um, you know, I haven't really... I've been trying just to get I've out learned the door. nothing. Yeah, I've really not learned a, a ton about myself this morning, Bobby, but apparently you have. What have you learned? You know, you learned? I have. I, uh, I got up pretty early, 4.15. I sat down. I actually read a book on Epicurean, the philosopher, uh, hasn't really nothing to do with with food. They've kind of messed that around a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I learned about challenges and struggle. Um, here, I learned pacing. You go slow enough, you can do almost anything. Sometimes you have to go slow. You don't get a choice. Sometimes you have to. <laughs> That's Steph talking right yeah. there. Um, but realistically, you know, I got a heart rate monitor on. I, wanna, I don't want to kill myself out here. No, I, I'm excited to see kind of, it, you know, it, it, and that's the cool thing about kind of going at your own pace is if you're in a... Go at your own pace. Yeah, you get a, if you want to kind of go up a little bit, there's a few people in the group. We're going to try to I don't know how this dog jog up the here. trail a little bit and see what we can see. It's nice to kind of well, get... You're going to jog up the trail a little bit and see what you can see. <laughs> well, the Not jogging me. part is a little bit more of a, uh, kind of a funny word there. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, we've got our, uh, actually this garments come in super handy for pole socks readings and kind of keeping everything I in like hand. it for heart rate. Um, most of my heart rate has actually been in the easy warm-up mode and at no point did my body feel as though it was in the easy warm-up mode can you talk about um what you've been saying about america <laughs> so wrong <laughs> so wrong we need to edit that out yeah anyways we're the only americans with a group of uh, mostly yeah. aussies and someone from bob's been uh, calling himself canadian <laughs> this entire time <laughs> well sometimes you gotta lean into the canadian yeah, citizenship you know so you've learned nothing about yourself. That's what I've heard you say this morning. Yeah, but you're just but, too but busy. You're no, involved no, but, in the work. But here's, you're just putting one thing, foot like, in front of the other. No, no, no. So, so I, I'm probably a good example of a real human on this trail, versus most people are not going to get up at 4 a.m. and go read Epicurean and journal. I think they will before having to get up at 5 a.m. and and pack up their entire camp, eat breakfast, and get on a really tough trail. So. For me, I, I kind of woke up with the okay. camp. With Maybe the group. I'm abnormal. <laughs> I, I woke up with the camp with the group, and uh, it was really cool because you had to practice uh, not taking a lot of things, uh, being efficient. And so I feel like our whole entire group did an amazing job. And what I did learn, not about myself, but about everybody in our group, is that they are very uh, efficient, and they've they're, they've done this before. You know, this is a, a really good group to be around on this trail. So I'm proud of every one of them. And, and I like what you said there, Steph as far as um, figuring out what you have to give up. You know, my pack's a lot lighter today than it was yesterday. You gotta figure out how much water you're gonna carry because water's pretty heavy, but just other stuff. Other stuff, what's weighing you down in life, what's weighing you down on the trail, really pretty impactful. So thanks for joining us on this journey, guys. Uh, we're a third of the way through Dead Woman's Pass on day two of the you know, Inca Trail. Yeah, if you look around here, there's a, there's a lot of people from a lot of different areas. And it's really kind of neat to see everybody kind of coming together. Just to give you an idea of how popular uh, this hike is. There's and and they limit everywhere. the number of permits. If you're listening to us on the podcast, yeah. we're trying to give you advice. Book it in advance because they're limited to 500 people a day. Yep. Dog will like that one that I just dropped there. Yep. All right, guys. Um, well, hey, more to come. Stay more to soon. come. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.